This is a Midland 275 install on a third gen Tacoma. Pretty stealth, uh, professional grade, if you will. We uh, opted for the mounting location to be under the center console here. This is an SR5, so it does not have the 400 watt inverter, but those holes work perfect for mounting the radio. So that's what we did. The kit doesn't come with a bracket, so we opted for our rugged radios hood mount. Uh, works pretty nice, but it does need to be tweaked. The low profile coax has a washer, so you'll need to open up this hole ever so slightly. However, Rugged designed this for the Tacoma, but failed to take into account the shoulder on the hood bolts. So you'll need to break out some tools for that. Then you get it mounted up. It actually works pretty nice. There's plenty of room between the antenna and the windshield and nice and low profile. This is the best spot that we found to run the antenna wire through the firewall. There's a plug here. It's a $3 part from Toyota. Um, it's pretty easy to pull out. Just poke a small hole in it, and we're going to be shortening the antenna wire anyway, so we nipped off the end of the coax and fed that through. To actually fish it through the hole, we grabbed a welding rod, rounded off the tip. There's a wiring harness right here. Should be where your ECU is. There's a fan blower motor. Lots of stuff to hit, so take your time. Be gentle. You'll eventually get it. And you can pull your wires through like this. Tuck them up neatly, best you can. We did ours next to the blower motor. Pulled them through the cup holder, or underneath. And stuffed everything on the passenger side of the center console. You have a handbrake on the other side, so this was best for us. Once we had our length, we shortened up the wire. Cut about six or seven feet off of that bad boy. So hopefully improving functionality. Threw a new connector on. This requires some special tools, but it's not too hard. And then put a little elbow in there for extra room. Scored a jumper cable about six feet long from Amazon. And this plugs into the radio, clears that back panel perfectly, and plugs into the back of a blank plate that you can stuff into your dash. To power the radio, we went with a cigarette lighter jump i guess we're stealing power off the back um, rather than pl plugging it in so that way we can still use that port if we need it you have to depress these two black nubs to get that metal sleeve out pain in the butt but it will eventually come out and to make life easy we pulled the radio and the climate control panel that just gives you miles of room to pull all these wires attached to the cigarette lighter plug everything in um, good call, and it's easy to do. With the 275, all the power and controls are located on the mic itself. So just by plugging it into the dash, you got full use of everything. You can unplug it when you're done. And no visible anything. Everything's tucked away. Thanks for watching.